Christina with Behind the Curtain and I'm here with Maria from Blue Stocking and she's going to tell us more about this cool space. So um, tell me, uh, what's Blue Stockings all about? What's your history? Um, Blue Stockings just celebrated its 15th birthday, opened in 1999 as a women's bookstore. Bought out a few years later and is now a radical feminist bookstore, cafe and activist center. So what's your role with Blue Stockings? Um, one of the collective members here. Um, Blue Stockings is entirely volunteer powered and collectively owned. Um, we try and be as horizontal of a space as possible. So there are no managers, there are no bosses. Um, we all just work together. Um, nobody here gets paid anything at all to run the store, not even the owners. Um, and we do it um, not as any political stance per se, but just, um, to keep this place open. I started off as a volunteer. I thought the space was great and just really wanted to be involved in any way. And I think um, the vast majority of our volunteers start off that way. Um, anyone can fill out a volunteer application. Um, volunteer shifts are three hours long. They start with one volunteer shift a week. By having interns here, intern shifts are, I believe, six hours long. If you show an interest in accounting, we can teach you accounting. If you show an interest in, like, contemporary Asian studies, we have a section for that and we can teach you that or if you have an interest in really anything, I mean, it's a great place to intern, a great place to learn basic work skills. Hey, um, I'm here with Cyan. She is one of the integral volunteers of Blue Stocking. So, hey, <laughs> um, how long have you been volunteering here? Uh, since January, so that's like 10 months maybe. Uh, so uh, how did you find this place? Why did you get started volunteering? Well, I found it because I was walking around with some friends, and then we walked in and checked out you know, some, <laughs> some books, <laughs> books that should not be said. <laughs> and then we just decided to hang around here, and then I realized that I spend so much time here, I might as well just volunteer and do something with myself. What's your favorite part about volunteering here? The people. Because I'm really social and the fact that I get to interact with people like every day is, well not every day, but like every Sunday, it's just so cool. Everyone comes in here with like different opinions about certain things and we could just have like a really long conversation over coffee and it's like the best. <laughs> What's your favorite event so far? My favorite event <laughs> was a surprise event when uh, when this lady came in and uh, she is the author of a book called Blowjob and she was like talking about her like porn experience and I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty, it was, it was, it was cool though, but <laughs> I was like, okay. Enlightening is probably a good word for that. Enlightening. <laughs> what kind of um, different clubs do you have and they have reading clubs and stuff? Yeah, we have um, feminist book club great <laughs> that's great we have a radical educators meetup which is also great which is also really great we have a dyke knitting circle which is really great also um uh i don't know how to knit for the record i suck sorry <laughs> this place serves as a meeting space for a lot of different groups honestly and um people will just meet up like once off or people will meet up regularly and our, all our events, including the reading groups, are available online, bluestockings.com slash events. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so. Cool.